here we go. Pinball Republic Seawolves down here. Woo! Having a blast. This is so intense. So much fun. So I can't wait to get back out there. Let's go. This is just kill. Coach Skinner, we're here right now with Coach Skinner. You've seen these jerseys. What do you think? You came in here, you saw the Seawolves brand. You know, obviously I love our logo, our, you know, our main logo, you know, and then now there's this alternate branding that, you know, an alternate jersey and the fans are going nuts. Yeah, I mean, I I love the new jerseys. <laughs> it's uh, it's a good uh, good beach vibe. It's uh, I, I feel like the colors and, and the... Uh, the paw print kind of really, really suits the uh, the, the the beach and, and, and the Biloxi uh, the Biloxi area. Right. Well, originally I was just saying it was supposed to be black, red, blue, and that was the original idea. And uh, I was basing it off a jersey, a college jersey, the DePaul Blue Devils from Chicago, <laughs> and they did that uh, two years ago. And I thought it was just a really cool, uh, you know, just spin on their jerseys and keeping their colors. And then all of a sudden, Zach mocked up this teal and purple jersey. And I was like, it was just like, bro, that's it. Yeah, I was no, like, we're done. He did a hell of a job with them, I think. And uh, like I said, I really like the uh, I like the shoulder, um, the wolf on the shoulder. and then That, the, that uh, wolf was originally supposed to be on the chest. Oh, no. And I the think they did a great gonna, move yeah, with the right? paw print. Oh. I think they did a great move with the paw print on front. Um, you know, I, I, I think he did a really good job with the jersey. So, yeah, like in the, in the whole... And like the whole transition, it was like wolf on the front, shadowed face, half color, like real dummy down, just like a two, three color logo. And then all of a sudden I saw that mock up with the paw print on the chest. I was like, no, I was no, like, no, that's it. No, no, I'm I like, think it, great, great call. I think it's a great call and it, I think they turned out great. And so something people aren't gonna really notice or I don't know if they have, but, uh, on the 1999 Kelly Cup Championship Seawolves team, they kind of had a wavy vibe to the red, white, and blue jerseys. And that's the same wavy vibe we got on, on the, the bottom. bottom. And no one's even mentioned it or commented yet. So we'll have to do like a side-by-side -side of the 99 Kelly Cup jerseys and these to get see that wave on the bottom. But that's I right. love how behind the paw, you could see the, the, ocean. the ocean. He's yeah, got the yeah, white and yeah. the teal and the purple in there and yep. uh i love that post where he broke down why he used those colors and you know how to like it was paying homage to the fishermen and you know the like luxury and the royalty of the mississippi gulf coast and yeah, yeah i just i was blown away i'm no, like zach no. just, zach just yeah. he all, all knocked the a dinger out of the park hey, yeah. what's the furthest dinger you've ever seen like 450 yeah i think like 460 i think 460 yeah he, or something he, like he that. hit a 475 yeah. oh yeah yeah he's at giant stadium yeah <laughs> Yeah, into the water. Yeah, someone's <laughs> kayak and they get this ball. Yeah. Well, so we're going into the last regular season weekend against Baton Rouge, our rivals. Uh, anything big you're changing up besides for, uh, not a big deal, bringing back me and Pinky. Yeah. No, those are, and, and those are, uh, those are key, key pieces that we need. You know, we need, uh, we need, we need that spark, you know, you on the bench and Pinky on the bench, just, you know, just keeping that positive attitude and, and um, you know, just just being there for the boys, and um, you know, it's it's good good guys to have on the bench and uh, with with the team. So it helps. We're cheerleaders. Lot. That's what he's saying. We're just <laughs> cheerleaders. We bang our sticks. We say good job, good shift, good shift. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a good weekend. We uh, we owe these guys uh, three games from the previous uh, weekend that we had them. So um, I, I, li I like uh, I like where we're at right now. Well, I think. I don't know how it all matched up this year, but uh, you know, let's say we're going into this weekend and this, you know, the I-10 rivalry cup is on the line. So I'm gonna play that way. That's the way I'm mentally preparing is, you know, this is a playoff series. We gotta pick up two out of three or all three, you know, best of five style. You know, you need those three wins right now yep. and uh, gotta move on to the next series, which would put us against Columbus. And uh, so, you know, we get through this weekend, got to stay healthy, uh, you know, get into Wednesday night at home. Uh, you know, obviously I want a lot of people here. I want energy in the building. I know people and that energy translates into the players in the play. So you played, you played in some good places and uh, like 
did you play better or was your game elevated when the crowd was just juiced? There was a oh. lot of people there and they were allowed. Once, once the crowd gets loud and, and, uh, and I mean, for me, I was very vocal. I was very, you know, I was very into the crowd and with the fans. So, I mean, the louder and more, I I'd say, I'd say savage. Like, Hey Seawolves fans, it's Blake Wyrick, Phil Wong, and Matt Stoya here at Gulf Coast Firestone. This is Matt Stoya with your Mississippi Seawolves at uh, Gulf Coast Firestone and uh, just letting you guys know we uh, service all types of oil changes, AC, scheduled maintenance, uh, brakes, front end repair, uh, all types of tires for cars, trucks, ATVs, and trailer tires. Hey Seawolves fans, all season ticket holders and sponsors, you get 15% off all services. Open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, located at 4283 Pops Ferry Road in Diaverville, Mississippi. And don't forget to ask about our six month tire financing program. It's only $149 down, minimal purchase, and you're good to go. Just like get get in there and and you know, flick off the other team. You know, <laughs> tell them to tell them to f off and just just be hard to play and be that be that uh, be that extra guy out there for us. And and you know the guys feed off that shit I did. And and you know it just makes the celebrations and the goal celebrations and all that big saves makes that much even makes that even more fun. So well, you know I'm a Stone Cold fan. I catch beers out of the sand, yep, yep. double flick <laughs> off someone. So you know I've been trying to be better, but Stone Cold is still one of my favorites. So oh, yeah, he's you know, he goes down Austin 316, balls. Pace 316, whatever we got to say. 316 says I just whooped your ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be saying this weekend. That's what I feel. That's uh, you know a goal going into these three games, and then just tra bringing that right over to this playoff game at home uh, it's you know it's gonna be emotional for a lot of people they haven't seen playoff hockey here in a long time and uh, you know it's almost like you know too low no matter what in BR this weekend but then in playoffs you definitely can you know goals got to bring you energy but if you get scored on you can't you can't let that energy dip at yeah, all gotta turn it's the just page and nice and even shield yeah. the whole time yep. Yep. and uh, you know that's something I've learned over the last few months is you know, I think uh, cool, calm, collective, stone cold killer. Yep. No, I, I agree, and hopefully we can uh, take this weekend and and uh, ride the wave into. Uh, Ooh, ride the wave! I like that. And you know, that's one thing down here. I kept saying like I want this like beachy surfer vibe for this jersey. And I'm sorry I keep saying surfer because we have no waves. We're not <laughs> surfing anywhere. With the barrier islands, we don't even get it. Yeah, we paddleboard feel. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fisherman feel, that kind of boaty. I should be saying boaty water feel. Just the water feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but ride in the wave, baby. Yeah. You know, I think out on the south side of the barrier islands are some waves. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there are. I think there are. Probably some big ones, too. I've only been out there once or twice. So, you know, if you ever have a boat and you want to take the guys out, you know, just give us a ring. We want to be out on the water. We do. We are sea wolves. We come from the sea. <laughs> so, and if people don't know, a sea wolf is actually a timber wolf from British Columbia that gets 80% of its diet from the ocean. Clams, crabs, <laughs> uh, dead fish washing up, whatever. So they'll scavenge the beaches and like dig in the sand for crawfish, things no like kidding. that, or whatever's down there. And uh, I don't know if crawfish are on the beach. I know we got them oh, yeah, here. They're, 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 oh, they're yeah. mud bugs. Mud but, bugs yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I, there's stuff in the sand that, yeah, you go for, and uh, they just dig those up, and yeah. So they're much skinnier than the wolves like that are up in the mounds or like on the mainland. But yeah, British Columbia sea wolves. And then down here in the Caribbean and in the Gulf, they were sea wolves because they were pirates. Pirates were called sea wolves. Wow. So, so that's why Hook has a hook. And I always said Hook should have an eye patch and stuff like he's uh, And if Hook had a lower body, he'd have a peg leg. No, 100% he'd have to have a peg leg. You, what, do you, what do you think we could do with our mascot to get him with a <laughs> peg leg? <laughs> You think it, you think we could do that? Yeah. Is that a possibility? It could be. Anything's possible. Mm. Hey, okay, fans. So tell us what you think, but we're going into Baton Rouge. We need your support going into playoffs. So come out Monday 
uh, the April, 15th. April 15th here at the Coliseum. They're going to be setting up for Crawfish Fest. So we're going to have to have parking on one side of the arena. Come over to the box office, buy your playoff tickets, get autographs and photos with the guys. We're going to be hanging out there in front of the box office all day, nine to five on Monday, April 15th. Get in ready for April 17th, Wednesday, hump day, first playoff game back in almost nine years. Yep. I think nine years exactly. So, guys, it's almost been a decade since we've had playoff hockey here. So come on out, support us. I know it's a Wednesday, but we need you guys. We need you to come out. You don't know how it's important it is for the players to feel that energy. Nothing better. It's nothing better like, than playoff energy. Right? Nothing uh, better. The best many, thing is, is that everything before playoffs doesn't matter. No, nope. right? so it's like matter. making playoffs can't be a team's goal. You got to make playoffs to get to your goal, which is a championship. Exactly. So Daryl Sutter said, I don't get excited to make playoffs. I just need to be need in to playoffs be yep. to get to my goal, which is the Stanley Cup for us, the Commissioner's Cup. Yep. You know, I just feel like when we come out on the ice, I want this place juice. I want to feel like Hulk Hogan, that WrestleMania. You know, oh, yeah. Like going, going you after can choose Andre. which side. Which side oh, yeah. is louder, right? Which oh, side yeah. is louder? Just to walk into the ring to beat the crap out of the giant. Yeah. So that's what it's pretty much like. Basically David versus Elias. Yeah, Here is. we go. We're going up against a giant. Yeah. You, know, you all know what happened there. Hey, right, we're going to slay a dragon. Game of Thrones, people. We're going to slay, going a, to slay dragon. a dragon. I like it. <laughs> Well, guys, like uh, get out there. Get out there on Wednesday. This uh, this Monday podcast. Wednesday. Monday, Monday and Wednesday. Monday, Monday and Wednesday. We just can't stop. We want to record with you all day. <laughs> we're just going to record another episode right after this because we're so juiced and excited. Yeah, exactly. But uh, this episode is brought to you by Omnitech and Firestone. Amazing sponsors of Mississippi Sea Wolves. Uh, check them out. Follow us. Subscribe. And uh, get your butts off the couch Wednesday and get out to the Wolves Den. Right out there. Yep. Hope to see you there. Okay. Let's go, Here coach. We go. Here we go. Hey, make sure you don't bench me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be Just, benched. Yeah. I don't think I'll bench you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>